Bam! Hello guys! Hello, 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 hello. In today's video, we're gonna see the importance of stress. Stress is very important in your speaking. Stress is very important in your understanding. If you need to understand, you need to learn stress. Before we continue, subscribe to this channel. The button is down there. Subscribe and if you really love this video, hit that thumbs up. Okay, in this video or in this lesson, I'm going to talk about uh, why we need stress, why we need to study stress. Stress is that extra energy, that pitch, that force you put on syllables. Syllables. What are syllables? Syllables are those vowel sounds. They are A, E, O, U. So, whenever you put stress on those syllables, whenever you put energy on those syllables, it's called stress. The words sound louder, the words sound more audible or more clear. Okay? What is stress? We've seen what is stress. Now we go to the next one. How do you use stress in speaking or in listening? Why should you listen out for stress? Or is the stressed words are louder? Or is the stressed words are stronger? But why? Why do English speakers stress these words? Why do they stress the syllables? Okay? We normally emphasize what we want you to understand. When English speakers are speaking, they stress every word that is important. They stress the functional word, those words that are really very important, that they want you to understand. They are stressed because they want you to get the message. They want you to understand them. That's why we have the why. Okay, we look at the focus words. These are the important words. The, one, the, the ones that have the meaning. Okay, they are always stressed. Not that stress. No, not that stress. The stress we have in sound. You know, sound is a very important factor in communication. Sound is energy. Don't forget. Sound is Energy, energy, energy. So whenever you speak, use energy. Energy comes from your stomach, you know, from your diaphragm. So use that energy. Okay? Not very important point. Stress changes the meaning in English. Whenever you're speaking, whenever you're listening, listen out for the details. And those details are in stress because stress changes the meaning of the words, changes the meaning of the sentence. Let's have an example here. I prepared you an example. Those are just joining us, hit that subscription button or subscribe to this channel, English Hacked, with your teacher, Ronnie. Okay? Look at this example. How did you come? I can put the stress on the how, which means, did you come by airplane? Did you come by boat? Did you come by running? Or did you come on foot? Or did you come on horse? So, I want to find out how did you come? How did you come? Is stressed. I want to find out the means of transport. Now, I'm going to change the stress. And change the meaning. How did you come? How did you come? How did you, you, you come? Not him, not them, not him, not him, but you, you. I'm stressing you. I need to find out among your friends, how did you come? I am singling you out. So here, stress again has changed the meaning. Stress, very important. 
Let's continue. Let me show you the power of stress and why you should learn stress. We have words in English. We have words in English that are spelled, spelling, are spelled the same. But when the stress changes, the meaning in the word changes. Dang. Really? Yes. This meaning changes with stress change. The stress shifts from the first syllable. Our syllables are a E-O-U, -E these are the syllables. So when the stress changes from the first syllable and it moves to the next syllable, the meaning changes. Interesting, isn't it? Let's see. The first, we have seven words we are going to go through together. And hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you have understood the importance of stress and why you should learn and why you should listen out for stress when English speakers are speaking to you. Okay? Present. Look at present. Present. I want to stress the first syllable. Present. What is present? What's the present? Did you get my present? Did you get my present? Here, present is a gift and it is a noun. Here, this one is a noun. The stress is on the first syllable. If the stress is on the first syllable, that is a noun. So you stress the first syllable. Did you get my present? I liked your present. Thank you, Mr. Ronnie. Your present was good. So you put more energy. You put more pitch. You put more strength on the first syllable. The meaning changes. Now let's see when the sh stress shifts on the second syllable. So this one was present. The next one is present. Present. Did he present well? Did he present? You see, the shift, the stress has shifted to the next syllable. From here, it has gone there. Now that becomes a verb. Did you present well? Did you like his presentation, you see? Verb. The now present. Gift. Did you present well? Ronnie, did you present yesterday? That's verb. Verb. Now, let's go to the next one. Object. This is an object. Object. UFO. You've seen UFOs. Unidentified flying objects. UFO from space. It's a flying object. The stress is on O. Our stress is on O. Object. You see the power of stress? Don't say, did you see the object? No. Did you see the object? Did you see the object? So the stress is on the first syllable. Syllables are here. R-A-E-O-U. These are our syllables. They control the way we sound. Let's go to the next one. The verb. This was the noun. The verb. Object. 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 You see, this energy is on the next syllable. Why did he object? Here, object means refuse. Why did he refuse? Why didn't he, did he accept? So, he objected. Why did he object? Why are you objecting? Why are you objecting to my proposal? Then, it's a verb. The shift, the stress shifts on the next syllable. So, da 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 This two finished. So when you're reading or when in the context, you can find if it's a verb or if it's a noun. When you're listening, you should know the context of the word, how it is used. Let's go to the third one. Contract. Contract. She signed a new contract. Here the syllable is in the, the stress is on the first syllable. Co or contract. She signed a new contract. Ronnie signed a new contract. Ronaldo signed a new contract. I got a new contract. I have a new contract. That is stress on the first syllable. Good. Let's go on the verb. Now, now the verb. Contract. Contract. Our muscles contract. Our muscles contract. Our muscles 